So on this one, this video, this one, we're looking at Descartes' formula for use with lenses. Um, and yeah, we've seen it with mirrors, so I'm not going to get into detail of exactly how it works. Uh, but let's take a look at it and we can see what some of these measurements are. So uh, F is still the focal length. Um, and D, excuse me, D, uh, O is still the object um, lens uh, distance and we need to quickly sketch out our ray diagram here so that we've got a, um, a converging lens so that we've got a, an image somewhere <coughs> for us to uh, use. Okay, so that's where our image will be. And DI this time instead of being on the left hand side is just uh, on the side where the image naturally resides if you like. So for um, for the situation we have an object uh, inside the focal point and we have our parallel ray going through the focal point and we have um, our light ray that could go through the center to show a magnified image this would be a negative DI because it's a virtual image so you have a negative value virtual negative negative okay. remember that okay um, now you might uh, find a few little tricks when it comes to uh, Newton's formula I, I actually recommend not bothering with it to be honest um, too too tricky, too prone to um, making um, errors. So let's see. Um, here's our focal length again. Here's our uh, object, and we better quickly find our image. Same thing again. In fact, I'm not going to bother. We can see from our diagram above the image is going to be somewhere over here. Okay. So this time we've got these distances um, to deal with and F is still F of course but this time this is SO and this is SI. Now we're going to encounter problems though when we're dealing with uh, a concave um, because so it's convex let's quickly draw our concave uh, setup. focus and focus um, object and we know um, that we're going to have a uh, reduced image somewhere in here like this so now um, what we've got going on focal length is still the same but this time um, SO is going to be the distance from the object to the far focus so uh, let's do this in red because it's very important this is this now is SO, okay, and SI is the distance from the image to um, to to the what well, would have been the far focus, but in this case, this is SI. Pretty sure that's right. You can experiment with that and double check, but the the formula still applies the same. Um, that is where F squared equals SO SI. And the magnification and, and so forth. Um, so you can experiment with, with that. I really suggest just sticking with Descartes formula for, for these. Um, it's There's too many extra things to remember and you can stick with your first principles. Unless you're so familiar with it that you're happy enough and you have no problems at all. But there we go.